Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hey, hello everyone, Grandmaster Stitch here and welcome back to the Citadel where we're going to carry on our house, Vakar playthrough. As you can see, North Valyria is now growing to quite a decent size as we have taken over most of Slaver's Bay other than New Gis, which we are currently at war with. So we are gathering our men here in Marine. We've got quite a strong force. And thank you to my awesome subscribers and the two people from my Discord server who created two new characters for us. So we'll introduce those new council members now. We have... Esterosso Eratis, who is a Valerian former slave who we have freed, who was a pit fighter in Marine. So he's very strong and a formidable fighter, but he's a very shy person with a stutter who has been thrown into the pits from a young age and did not want to fight in there, but he's had no choice and has grown to be a formidable fighter over time and a great fighter but despite all that he's a very gentle sh and shy and trusting person and he's going to make a great commander for us now that we've freed him with him being Valyrian no Valyrian should be a slave in Aeni's eyes so he's freed him and raised him up to be a commander and bodyguard and then we also have Yerkaz Zoulaz who is a Miranese nobleman who has seen that the new way of Slaver's Bay is the Valyrian way so he has come to our side and he's going to be very loyal a decent formidable fighter and a commander who is going to be of much use so thank you to Danny B and um, Spiritual Guide for those two characters I really appreciate it. if you want to add any characters to this series then please join the discord server or write in the comments down below the characters you'd like to see each time we conquer a new area I'd like to add council members from that area so we could get a Dothraki some Dothraki members and so on. So, right, let's continue our push into New Gis. We have raised our men here, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get on the ships. How many men will this ship hold? 27,000, so we're only just over. Let's instead just march down into New Gis instead, then. And let's pick up these men here who are on their way to that newly conquered colony. Let's... Oh, no. I need to dock the ships there. The 28,000 men I want to send into New Gis and we'll start capturing land down there. They're going to have no one to aid them as we already own Marine, Aspor and Yunkai. And once we've got New Gis out of the way, uh, I asked all you guys where you think we should go next. A lot of you said the Dothraki, which I would like to sort out the Dothraki as well as the land people as well. But I think first we're going to take Volantis as that is claiming to be the daughter kingdom of Valyria so we're not going to stand for any other kingdom saying that it is the true Valyria so we'll conquer Volantis next and then we'll see where to go from there whether we march into some more of the free cities or take some more land to the east like calf could be interesting could be a lot of money to be earned in calf so we'll see and awesome we've now got enough money to colonize somewhere else so let's colonize the howling bogs shall we be interesting to uh colonize these do it there we go another land for north valyria i'm not sure who i'll give that to yet we could have it as our own land but we'll we'll see for now we'll just leave it as it is let's march our men down into new gis hoping that we can get ourselves a son soon as well i don't know if to just leave myself out of this army for now let's put someone else in control of this army for now in the hope that while we're not in command, we can hopefully get ourselves a son back home. We're going to have to give those titles away, actually, because we're, we've are we got too many. So we'll give the Howling Bogs to somebody else. Is there anyone in our court who we haven't given anything to yet? Axel Flowers. Let's give him, grant him the landed title of... Where is it? Lordship of Teleria. And... We can't actually give him the Lordship of Teleria. The City of Teleria and the Temple of Teleria we can give him. We'll give him the City of Teleria then. And we'll give some titles to some other people. Let's have a look. Let's give you the... Hmm. Actually, 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 actually. Brion Henaris does have... Oh, no, his son has died. That's tragic. He's got a secondary wife now, though, so hopefully he'll have a few more children. Let's have a look back in our court. Maybe Nori Penos, then. I think he has a son. 
Yes, he does. Moro Penos. Let's grant him the landed title of the city of Anagoria, which is where his father owns the lands anyway. So we, at least we're not giving it away to anybody else. And now we need to give Teleria to someone. I might keep Teleria for myself. It's quite a cool name. I quite like that. So who else have we got in our court that we've not given land to yet? We could give land to Axel Flower's son because he does have a son. Master. Okay, so he's already got some land. Okay, I've already gave him land. Uh, hmm. Who else have we got that's had children in our court? Has Palos had any children yet? Palos Rapatis. A daughter. There's got to be somebody. Oh, we could give you... No, he's more Miranizo, so I don't want to... Where's that Valyrian guy, our new guy, that we've just had made... Here he is. We'll give it to him as he is Valerian. So we'll grant him the landed title, Lordship of Teleria. There we go. Open council position. Court physician. Where's Axel Flowers gone? What has happened to... He's not died, has he? I hope Axel Flowers hasn't died. That'll be one hell of a huge loss if Axel Flowers has died. Carry on marching. Oh, here we go. We are now in New Gis. Where are those ships? Get those 800 men onto the ship. Yes, my wife, Daella, is pregnant. That is perfect. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves a son now. Can the ships please come down here so that we can sail over to New Gis, the island, and conquer it straight away? Where's the New Gis armor there? 1,600 men. Is that all it's got? That's not a lot of men. Let's just assault this before we uh, sail over. We may as well take it. Very easy to take. We're not going to need the dragons either, which is awesome news. Save the dragons and we're not going to have to burn down new Gis. Old Gis has obviously been burnt down in the past, so it would be nice to not have to re-burn their lands again. So they have to start a new new Gis. Awesome. Extra troops. We're going to need to get Axel Flowers back into our court. Oh, 10,000 men. Hmm. Let's land here instead and take that land and then we can march over to new Gis. Here we go, 23,000 men, and we are losing men. There's a bad supply line here. Let's march over instead then. Hopefully we'll be able to win this crossing. We've got a lot more extra men. So yeah, I think I thought we would be able to win that crossing, to be honest. Yes, we will get some gossips to be surrounding our wife. Okay, there's only five defenders in New Gis. That's strange, I wasn't expecting that. Let's... Only 5,000 defenders here. So there's not a great amount of defenders in New Gears, which is very surprising. My wife, Diana, asked me to buy her some new clothes because of the pregnancy as she has outgrown most of her wardrobe. And now she feels frustrated and not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance at court. My dear, you do not need new clothes. You're already wonderful. Hey, okay. summon your tailor. Yeah, we'll summon the tailor. We've got plenty of money to spend, haven't we? Let's spoil her. We'll wait 21 days until we can siege this land. Can make the Empire of Giscar, but I don't think we'll do that. Could do with a new court physician. That could be something that you guys could make for us. Axel Flowers is getting quite old now, so... Whilst holding court, a group of Jogas Nai warriors were presented to you. Their leader expressed the admiration they had for you and presented you a gift, a young Zor stallion, a striped black and white mount that the Jogas Nai ride on the plains. Thank you for this fine gift. I need men like you. Please stay here. Okay, that could be interesting. Add Zors to the treasure, eh? And we also get a Jogas Nai person, which would be really interesting. Should we do that? Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll keep him in our court as well. Yes, we finally got our son. Right, now I had two names recommended to me for a son, and I do like them both, but one of them is for if we get a genius son. So for this son, we will name him, and this was from Dos Santos, my subscriber, so thank you for recommending the name, and we're going to call him Orion. Orion Vekar. Oh, wow. Twins. 
Well, that is fantastic. We could name them after both of your names. And the other name was by Maria Louise Noah, and that was Astorian. So let's get that name in. There we go. Astorian. I think I've spelt it right. Was it Astorian? Fulfilled the ambition to have a son. Right, we need a new ambition then, guys. Now we've got twin sons. That is absolutely fantastic that we've got twin sons. Right, new ambition. Let's have a look. Win the war. Have five children become... Uh, hmm. Win the war would be a nice, quick, easy one to do because we've almost done it. So I think I'll go for that and then maybe go for five children afterwards. Right, let's now assault this siege. Your Grace, I am pleased to report the successful siege of the new pyramid. King Grasdar Zograndon could not be found, however. There is no one of value here. Never mind, we'll just keep assaulting these lands until we win. Okay, loads of people have... Oh, wow, loads of the Dornish men have been completely burnt to a crisp by Aegon back in Westeros. A son was born to Gemini Hotar and Master Axel of Teleria, named Oro. Okay, so they've had another, another son. Another bastard son. Plenty of flowers. They are... Uh, they're out here like rabbits, aren't they, old Gemini and Axel? Right, so let's have a look at our two sons now. Just give them a focus. It's going to be struggle, obviously. We want them both to be fine commanders. The Zorse that was gifted has grown into a mighty stallion and due to its ferocity has been kept in its own stable, lest it kill the horses. The man that tames this beast and rides it into battle would surely earn the respect of lord and peasant alike. I shall tame it. Our esteemed Jogo guest will show us how... I think it is less left alone. I shall tame it. As you approach the wild Zorsh, you try to recall all you know of how to subdue a strong stallion like this. At first, the beast balks at your presence, balking and kicking fiercely. Eventually, you gain its trust, however, and finally mount it, galloping away to the amazement of the crowded peasants. I shall ride you into all my battles. Awesome. So now we're a Zorsh rider and a dragon rider. That is awesome. I've never had a Zorsh on this game before. Does it come up near the dragon rider? And we've also got our pet cat as well. I forgot all about our pet cat. Right, can we assault this again yet? Yeah, yes, we can. And another quick assault straight after. Wow, there's a lot a lot of um, stuff to attack here, isn't there? And we'll assault once more. Should be able to win that. And another... Wow, there's still one more. Should I just go and attack this army instead? Alaris grows more beautiful every day. I had my doubts at first, but now I cannot deny it any longer. The child is surely blessed. When my wife played during the festival, the goddess must have touched the child within her and gifted her with beauty and purity. Attractive. Awesome, Princess Alaris is attractive. Treasurer, obviously, she has our own dragon. We do need to gift some of our other children dragons. Hopefully, we'll be able to breed some more dragon eggs so that we can have the chance of getting more. Okay, so Dawn has bent the knee to Aegon the Conqueror. House Targaryen has ruled the Seven Kings of the Iron Frame for many generations. Well, they've not, have they? And in this time, the Bloodlands have become a highly respected. House Targaryen is now considered a traditional great house of the region. Okay, nice to know. Okay, King's Landing has been built as well back in Westeros. Not that we're interested in that. Let's go and attack this 6,000 strong army instead, and then we'll siege that land, and that will hopefully give us the 100% to take new gifts. Dogs huffing and puffing. There we go, 100%. So now let's offer peace and force demands. Yes. King Aenys of Nord North Valyria has usurped the title Kingdom of New Gis from Lord Grasdan of New Gis. There we go. King fulfilled the ambition to win the war. Right, now we need a new ambition. What have we got? See the round prosper? No, we've not got time for that at the moment. Let's try and have five children. It'd be good to get some more sons. Whether it's with our first wife or second wife. Right, let's disband this unit of men. Let's dock the ships. Oh, they are unsullied. We'll disband them. Our, our unsullied are pretty much effectively wiped out now. We'll let them go. I do want to colonise Old Gis at some point. Once we have the money to do so. North Illyria now is looking pretty formidable. We will be going for Volantis next. I do need a new court physician, but we're going to leave that open, guys. I want you to create me a new court physician, unless we can invite Axel back, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to, unfortunately, which is a shame. But look at all this land now. It's really, really getting decent. Can we... Are the ships nearly home yet? Get them ships home. We owe a favour. Okay, we've got a 
commander space. Who can we make into a new commander? Let's have a look. Let's go with our Jogas Nye guy. Why not? Interesting to have people from all different backgrounds in our court. Awesome as well that we now have a... Um... Oh, your first wife, Queen Deella Renda, has died a night for... Oh, no. Not... Not her. She was our made-up character. I really liked her. My wife deserves to be honoured with a funeral. Just the Vakar family, all the court, my vassals, all lords and ladies of the realm. Hmm. Just the Vakar family will attend. So we've got our four children. She gave us some children. We do need to find a new wife then at this rate, it looks like. But... We are going to declare a dragon conquest of Valantis. Valantis is going to fall to us next. Let's call in our banners. Got many men here. Let's call in our ships as well. So that we can get everybody on the ships who can get on ships. And down in the south... Can you not actually fit on those ships? That's a bit annoying. Right, well, if we get everybody from here to go and meet in the mainland here. Same with everybody up here. We can all meet in Tolos for now. That would be greatly appreciated. Drop off your men in Tolos. 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 Everybody dock all the ships in Tolos. And then the ships can go back to fetch the armies from New Gis. We do need to get some Unsullied more at some point. The invitation has been sent to the Lords and Ladies of the Realm to come to the funeral. It is time to prepare the feast and funeral itself, okay? Time passes, yet to me the world seems unreal. It is as if life without Daella is but a mama's fart and I am lost in this sea of loneliness and know not where to turn. Drown yourself in wine, women and song. Gains a trait depressed, loses the trait widowed, lose yourself in book, song, and wisdom of others. This is nonsense. Hmm. We'll go with the top one. I have lost the joy of life. I have gained the depressed trait. Well, hopefully we won't keep it for long. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding. We'll spend lavishly on food. Why not? Okay, so Aegon the Conqueror is still up to stuff back in Valyr, uh, in Westeros. Your Grace news from King's Landing of a great trial at court. Tymor Merlin was imprisoned by King Aegon Targaryen and stood accused of sedation and conspiracy against the realm. Lord Oris Baratheon presided over the trial, during which the prisoner was ultimately found guilty. As a consequence, Tywar was released in a show of mercy. Okay. Not really relevant then, is it? Wow, 500 ships. It's a hell of a lot of ships. You arrange to meet with Count Chen Nook, a wealthy man from a shadow port who wishes to purchase one of your slaves. He finally makes his choice, lying one hand down on Reznak's shoulder. This one, I think. How much is he? Hmm. Reznak. Let's have... Okay, he's not overly impressive, so I don't really need him. If we can get 75 gold for him, I'll take that. Agrees to your price, and the exchange is done. He gives you the gold, and you give him the whip. Awesome, 75 gold for a slave we wasn't really using. I don't see why this concerns me. Right, let's send our ships over to New Gis and pick up that army. Let the feasting commence. Right, these armies are going to take a long time to muster. We've got Now we've got quite a big empire. It's going to take a hell of a long time. Two of your courtiers at the feast have brought a dispute before you to settle the inheritance of a small property in Alaria. It is unclear, and Nerys and Yorka Alarian both claim... To it as theirs. It is left to you to settle who will shall be declared heir to this land. Hmm, I favour Nearis, Queen Nearis. I favour Yorka. Hmm. It's clearly revert to Illyria. Let's have a look. Who is Yorka? Ah, uh, Palos's wife, okay. But I'm gonna favour my wife though, obviously. The wife my wife can have the land. Okay, so our wife is now done. Right, let's march our army onto Volantis by foot while we wait for the rest of the army to gather. The funeral. The friends and family of the departed as well as the notable lords of the realm arrive at the keep. Both the, of the body of Daella cleaned and prepared for viewing, dressed in the finest funeral garbs and accessories sits in a casket placed at the feet of the ruling seat. The gathered crowd buzzes with hushed whispers. 
cut with the mournful cries from those closest to the dead. Soon a priest enters the court and approaches the body, turning to the assembled. The priest reads sacred rites over the dead and begins a eulogy, noting the deeds of the deceased. The speech finished, the party joined the funeral, feast where close friends shed tales of valour, glory and honour to keep the memory of the dead and combat grief's grasp as the body is interned. And so it is done. So our wife is now dead. Right, let's get all these armies to meet up here in Astapor, actually. Pay him a visit on my dragon. Riding a stride doom, you fly to pay Lord Grasdar an unannounced visit. On arrival, you land on the highest tower of the new pyramid, your dragon letting out a Lord Roar. Loud Roar. Lord Gazdun was quick to realise the implications of your visit, welcoming you humbly and promising eternal loyalty. Let's get all these men to meet up in Astapor for now. Astapor, 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 and then get on the ships, please, and sail to Astapor, our second fleet, and we'll send these 18,000 men by foot. I don't want to be there, though. We'll send Yorkaz and Estorosa in our place, Estorosa, and they will march on to Old Volantis while we merge our second unit of men. We won a battle there, but it was only a small battle. or awesome. some more great news. We're, looking out, we're building quite a big second host here as well, which will attack Valantis by sea. We'll send these ones in by land and the others in by sea. They are going to have war elephants more than likely, the Valentine fleet. King Aegon the Conqueror has declared King Aegon's conquest of Massey's Hook. Okay. Your grace and enemy host approaches. Hmm, I'll just fly away. In hiding, in hiding. The castle is impregnable. Send my family into hiding. I cannot risk them getting caught. So we may as well now. We will lead the second army over here. Once they gather together. We lead this army and gather up the second men and then we'll come in by sea with our dragon just in case it's needed. While the other army take Volantis by land. 600 men, you can just stay there for now while we wait for these to gather. Actually, we'll send those 600 reinforcements by land to Volantis. Wow, there's 17,000 men there though. We don't really want you bumping into them, so stay where you are for now. Taking a long time to muster this army together. 10,000 men there. We've still got about another 3,000 on their way. Palos Rapatas has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in aid of North Valeria. It would be seen as a right and honourable cause to reward him with certain incomes and grants, as so to foster greater loyalty. I owe him nothing. I owe... Yeah, I'll arrange an award. I... Hmm. I think this service warrants a grant of land. I, I say I ho owe him a favour. Hmm, what should we go with? He's already got land, so we don't want to give him too much land, so we'll give him some gold. We'll give Valos to somebody else once we have someone that we can grant it to. Merge those men together again. How is the army doing over in Old Valantis? Yep, yeah, they're sieging things pretty well over in Old Valantis. Our army's almost together now. 13,000 strong, our second unit of men. Just waiting for those 300 men to arrive. Okay, Grasdar Mo Grasdan has recently lost his lands and titles, which means that you will inherit his personal collection of slaves. Okay. Get some interesting sl eight slaves that now arrive at our court. We'll have a look through them at some point. Come on, we're just waiting for those bloody 300 men to arrive. They're taking a long, long time. Okay. Mukshun. Not sure how to say that. Has arrived at our court. Is he from Yi or Leng or somewhere like that? Right, let's... They're now all on the ships. So let's sail those ships to Illyria and beat back this Valentine, Valentine fleet that's arrived. Your Grace, the colony at Teleria is under siege. A relief force must be sent at once. 2,000 men, right. Let's send them back to crush that volunteering fleet. Lord Nori Penas has been a leal and able servant. Yes. Uh, agreed. I'll give you some gold as well. We'll get plenty of gold when we've got Volantis under our control. 
There we go. We'll easily take care of those. Things are going well when suddenly I hear an embarrassed huff from nearby. Spinning my sword ready, I see the enemy commander, Triarch Henaris, awkwardly attempted to climb a large rock. I think he's trying to escape the battle, my lord. The soldier next to me amuses. There you are. I've been itching for a fight. Triarch Henaris suddenly halts his charge and you are left to wonder why, for but a moment when Geris sweeps in from behind him. Get back to our line, your ex excellency, he shouts. I'll handle this. So who is this? Who are we fighting? Garrus, his bodyguard, a formidable fight. Ooh, hoo -hoo, this, this could be risky to try and fight him. I will slay him myself. Fighting the King's Guard wasn't part of the plan. Hmm. Be very risky to try and fight him. He's a formidable fighter and a bodyguard. I don't. We look like a coward if we back down, though, but I don't think it's a good idea. We are only one-handed after all. Wasn't part of the plan to fight the King's Guard. We'll back away. We'll back away. It's a shame we haven't got our bodyguards to fight him. Not risking ourselves against a bodyguard slave. It's not worth the risk. Make sure we crush this. We don't want our new colony collapsing. So we'll send our 15,000 men there to crush them. Now we'll get these men back on the ships and we will sail around to Old Volantis to land that fleet there. Um, give them gold for now, even though they should be happy, except their marriage. I'm not really bothered about what people are up to. Now we'll march our army back to Old Volantis as well and try and take out any men that are there on the way. Hope we'll probably be starting another new series soon to play alongside this one as the Jon Snow one is winding down now and probably getting towards its end and then I think I will pick up the Jon Snow one again in the future after it ends and maybe play as his sons when Jon finally does pass away. Right, we need a priest. Yes, you can do that job. Okay, so we now have Old Volantis under siege. Let's drop off our men on this boat, all 12,000 of them, to join this force and siege Old Volantis. May have to bring out the dragons as this is a pretty well defended sitter. 12,000 and 15,000 men. Let's merge them together. I'll sell him for 115 gold coins. If you're willing to spend that, you can have that slave. Where is the dragon? We need to get the dragon out because we've got stuff to sort back out at home. So we need to sort this out. Deploy dragon in the siege, Dracaris. That's lifted that siege. Now let's just get this next assault out of the way. And we've almost defeated this, won this war. Um, Who's this slave that you want? 40 gold coins, you can have him. Well, okay, you don't want to pay that. Well, you're just being tight, aren't you, then? Let's dock the ships in Old Volantis. Excellent news. We've made a bit of money. I want to colonise some more lands, especially uh, Old Gis. Can we deploy our dragon again? Not yet. We're losing men heavily in this siege, which is worrying. Let's take the Temple of R'hllor instead. Hopefully, it might be a bit easier to siege. Yes, only 2,000 defenders and we can assault it. What quality education would you like to purchase for your prince, your daughter, Princess Alaris Vekar? Obviously, I will spend highly. Wow, she's got some decent traits as well. Sharp pains in your abdomen cause you to clutch your stomach. Abdominal pains. Right, we need a court physician. At once. I was hoping to be able to wait. Let's deploy Dragon in the siege because we are. We need to get back home. A great victory. And we'll assault again. Now let's go over to New Volantis. Okay, a colony is under siege. 
Let's go and attack those instead, actually, and stop them from sieging our colony. Do not want the collapse. Yes, we'll recruit the Pilgrim. What a dangerous faction. Independence. Marine. Oh, very interesting. Very silly, but very interesting. Let's send our spy over to Marine, then, to sort this out. Go, sc oh. Go scheme in Marine. Scheme in Marine. And we'll send our diplomat over to Marine as well. 10,000 men there. Right. We are going to go and have to take out this army that's threatening our colony first. And then we'll swing round to the Volantine force. Let's sail round here. Right, if we go round here now and we'll attack that army there. Okay, one child lacking an education focus. Wow, you've got some decent learning. So we'll go, hmm. Le we'll go for a learning education with you. Give us 75 gold and you can have him. Make some money so we can colonise some lands. Where are our ships? Are they on their way round the bottom of Valyria yet? Here they come. They have arrived. We've got more men than that Valentine army, so we should be able to beat it. I want to beat back Valantis and take Valantis before the end of this episode. So let's embark the army. And then we will sail over to Illyria and use our dragons. I don't know why we've got to sail all the way around there to get there, considering it's just there. It's a bit strange. I really wish that you could have some naval battles and stuff. It would be epic. Yeah, we've absolutely crushed that army. That should easily take us to 100%. We have tidings from Illyria where Yerkaz and Lord Yorka met as enemies in a duel. They fought each other fiercely, but Yerkaz prevailed in the end, forcing Lord Yorko to yield and handling him over to you as a prisoner. Well played, Yorkaz. This should hopefully give us the 100% that we need. Yes, it has. Awesome. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Yes. Valantis is now part of New Valeria. That is absolutely awesome. Let's disband these units. Disband. Yes. Disband. Yes. And disband our ships as well. Yes. One title can be created, Empire of Giscar. No, we don't want to bother with that. But New North Valyria is now looking pretty impressive. Obviously, we've got the other three cities we do need to take, but I do want to take Karth and these lands here. But whether that's a good idea or not, yeah, I'm not sure whether we should let things recover. Is this a ruin here? Yep, Sahoy, okay. Open council positions, we need a sentinel. Okay, hmm. Breon, we'll let you do that. We need to call our court out of hiding as well, don't we? Yep. Hopefully get another son. Restore High Priest to the Red Temple. The High Priest of Relor does not currently own their traditional seat at the Red Temple of Valantis. Restoring him to the temple would please followers of the Lord of Light. Yes, we will do that and keep people on side. One of our best friends is a follower of the Lord of Light. And I am tempted to choose a second faith, which we can do. Relor, I think, as a second god, as we have a dragon. I think it would be quite fitting. But we'll end this episode here for now, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below where you think we should conquer next and what new council member we should add from Valantis. We could do a Red Priestess or something, if you think, who has healing powers who we could use as a court physician. But yeah, please comment that down below or join the Discord server and write it in there. Thank you all so much for watching once more, and I'll see you very soon.